Hi everybody, trademark attorney Josh Gerben. California just passed a law that's going to allow college athletes to profit from their name, image, or likeness. This is a very cool law, but now you're going to have some young people that are going to need sophisticated legal advice on how to protect their trademarks. So here are two things that every college athlete needs to consider when trying to protect their name, image, or likeness. The first is you have to properly identify what your trademarks are. So let's take a look at how the pros do it. Some have trademarked their nickname, like A-Rod or Gronk. Some have even protected their name, Peyton Manning. Then there's the logos. Phil Mickelson has a logo of his two arms raised after winning a tournament. Roger Federer has an RF logo, still owned by Nike, but that's Roger's logo. And finally, Colin Kaepernick even protected the way he looks. So as you can see, with trademarks, college athletes can protect names, nicknames, even the way they look. And in order to do that properly, the second thing they need to pay attention to is who will own the trademarks. This is an incredibly important question. All you have to do is ask the NBA MVP Kawhi Leonard how important this is. Because he's embroiled in federal litigation with Nike over his claw logo and who should properly own it. And the litigation could have been avoided entirely if he had just negotiated with Nike for ownership of the logo if he had ever left the company. You can even look at Tom Brady, who allowed his TB12 trademarks to be owned by his agent's LLC. It was only recently that he just transferred all those trademarks to TEB Capital Management, his own company. But why would you allow your agent to own your trademarks? So as these laws are passed by various states around the country, we're now going to have 18, 19, 20-year-old kids that need sophisticated legal advice who have never needed it before. Identifying and properly protecting trademarks is a life time event for a young athlete. If you do not get it right, literally millions of dollars could be on the line. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll talk to you next time.